in there and while it's still wet just try and get some of that tree reflection in I just want to strengthen these banks there where it's really muddy so I'm going ultramarine and burnt umber this is where they've got the really muddy banks there's also a few shadows and what have you down there from this bank on the other side I'm just going to pull the paper tight after it's stretched just a little bit having wet it, wet it all over evenly because it's stretched evenly I can just refix it now on this right hand side. I don't need to bother pre-stretching before we start painting. Um, try and add a bit of interest down the bottom, this bottom corner, add a few rocks I think. Also maybe a few on this side. So I'll just put some dark down. Down on there first I think. I'm just going to get a plastic card and just Just one scrape across the rock, don't overdo it. I mean something, just some dark areas in first. Going right out into the water. Start on the left hand side, if you're right handed. Put a few in this corner as well, I think. Add one big one. Switch to the number three rigger. I might just put the hints of a few. branches and trunks and whatnots over there. You know, I'm trying to keep it subtle. And I think just coming over these trees there may be a few. few birds. I think the whole thing could just do with the livening up a little bit so here's a bravery test for you if you if you paint along. lung. I'm just gonna if you imagine the the, the land coming down it and then we've got a big tree trunk coming out on this right hand side, close up, not far too far from where we'd be stood looking at this picture. So I'm going to I'm going to take a dark colour, ultramarine and burnt umber. And then somewhere Like so, and we'll start to fit in this this 
trunk. I'm going to take this right out the top, right out the top of the picture. Come down like so, and then we go another branch. I'm going to switch to the number three rigger, plenty of water, same mix, and then we go another branch coming down. Like so. The old one flicking up there. Maybe a couple on the other side as well. I'm just going to put a little bit of foliage on these. So I'm going to use a fairly dry brush. I'm going to mix a bit of ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. I'm going to really sort of scuff up the uh, the brush so it's, it's, it's something like that. That's good. In fact I'm not happy with that. I'm going to want it drier. So I'm going to scuff the brush up for this. So it's really pressed down really hard on the tail so we get it like that. I'm just going to I'm just going to dab in like so. So we've got something like like that. I'm just going to dab into these colours. Payne's grey, lemon yellow, ultramarine. And I'm just going to just suggest a few leaves scattered about the thing. It's, it's really tempting to overdo it but just bit more into the pines grey, some darker bits. Just stop every, every have a, do a few strokes, stop and look back and just see if you've overdone it or not because it's so simple to overdo it. Very little water, in fact I have next to no water at all for this. Because otherwise you'll end up with big splodges of colour and you, you won't be able to see through the tree to the sky. But it's just added another dimension, another another layer to the painting. And it's I just added a bit of interest on that right hand side. I felt it could do with it. And I think I'll call that one finished. So I'm just going to back to the number three rigger. Into the dark mix. And just sign it. If we just take a look at, back at the source photo for a second, you can see how the all the trees are very similar greens, and I mean the, the whole picture really is just two or three different types of green. But you can see how I've just used the uh, the photograph as a reference and not copied it slavishly. 
I tried to vary the greens in the trees in the in the distance, and I put some foreground rocks in to try and add a bit of interest. And uh, most obviously is the the foreground tree over on the right hand side. I hope you like that demonstration. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.